Hey guys, it's me, Andrew. It's Friday, July 22nd, 2016. Today's office hours, we're going to do a little bit of a primer on websites 101 because this has been a common question from all you guys. It's also probably going to be part of an upcoming course uh, on running your music studio as a business. So, websites 101 is a guide for music teachers. So, I want to talk a little bit about what goes into a website so let's say this is you <laughs> and uh, this is your potential student and they're trying to find you right now here's the internet big cloud right the internet is that big collection of computers connected together and there's lots of websites on them and you want to have a website right now your website needs something it needs two things before it can actually be found. It needs a name. So you're going to register a name and it's going to go on this big list called a domain name server list, DNS, right? Now that list is just basically a list of all the names and where are these websites living? So where are they living is you need a host okay so what's the host a website host is a, is a computer somewhere in the world connected to the internet that has your pictures your videos your text whatever is going to go on your website your designs your colors and then anytime someone types in the name of your website say greatmusiclessons.com that list server says, oh, it's living on that host in Alabama or wherever, right? And then it delivers uh, the, the person to your website when they're searching for you in a search engine. Now, of course, like Google and Yahoo, they have their own lists of what is relevant search. But once they find you and you're on that list, your website is being uh, found in instantaneously it feels like instantaneously sometimes but in milliseconds the the domain name servers around the world are saying oh okay I know where that uh, website lives it's on that this host over here redirect the traffic okay so this is kind of a big picture of how um, a website is found in the internet okay kind of simplified trying to make it as non techie as possible so in this website there's two things right just like we just said your name is registered with a domain name server and then there's web hosting now web hosting has different kinds of plans it well before we even get to this shared one in the very early days of the internet people in their home would connect their home computer to the internet and then they could serve their the the, the website from there but it's gotten much more complicated and security issues and all that most people now will go and rent space so what they do is they go to a website hosting company and they get a shared hosting plan where you're one of many websites on a single computer server okay this server is sitting somewhere in a climate controlled environment and there's a backup power system there's backups of your data every day it's it's a much more uh, secure way to run a website than from your home computer the next level would be called a managed uh, hosting plan where you, there's not as many people on that server you're one of several still but you're getting a higher level of service okay and they might give you more memory more uh, more um, more space basically okay uh, a dedicated hosting plan means you're the only client on that computer you are running that whole computer you're renting that whole computer it's much more expensive and you can pretty much do anything you want with it so if you have a your own developer they can do lots of things there okay not recommended if you're just starting out so shared plans can cost anywhere from three dollars something us dollars a month um, and higher managed plans generally start around 50 us dollars a month and higher and then dedicated to the hundreds and thousands okay so I would recommend if you're just starting out to use an all-in-one service here's three that are quite user-friendly 
Now these services will allow you to both register a name and then have a hosting plan plus a pretty cool builder to allow you to drag and drop your information into a, a design. So I'm going to show you real quick what these three sites look like. Now I'm, I'm not getting any kind of commission or anything. I just think that these are pretty useful. So Wix is one of them, W-I-X, and it allows you to use one of their pre-made themes. You just customize the pictures and stuff and the words and then um, it has all these abilities in here slideshows it's very very cool right and it's free now of course how do they make money is that they have extra premium products and additional uh, functionality that you can buy for for a small amount extra okay now if you uh, look at Squarespace that's another one that also starts off free well, this is a free trial, <coughs> but it gives you all kinds of beautiful layouts. And then again, all you do is modify the text and the photos and information that how to contact you. And it's um, it's pretty great. Okay, I know uh, some of uh, some of our teachers are using this now. Also, WordPress.com. Okay, this is a free version of WordPress that they host and you don't have to think about and you can choose from all these great designs right here and they do all the backup for you right and you can even register your own domain name for them through them uh, it's about 10 bucks a year okay so let's get back to my presentation here where was I okay so those are three easy all-in-one services okay and they have their own building tool that you can quickly build a website without much um, knowledge of design okay so for something a little bit more advanced oh why am I getting a spinning ball here Oh shoot, did I just crash? Okay, so for more advanced, for a more advanced uh, <clears throat> installation, uh, you can register your own domain and then get hosting. A lot of times you can get it from the same company. I actually have two different companies. One, I use Namecheap.com to register the domain, and I use SiteGround for hosting. And then from there, I would install my own website package. And the one I recommend to use is WordPress, but this is a different version of WordPress. This is WordPress that is self-hosted, meaning that I have in, uh, hosted it myself on my own server, but it gives me more flexibility. It allows me to run my own ads. It allows me to add my own plugins. Uh, I can add uh, shopping carts. I know there's some of that as well in WordPress.com, but this one gives me the most flexibility, and uh, since I'm kind of comfortable with that, that's what I feel is is good for me okay so this wordpress.org is where I would download my own self-hosted version but most hosting companies have and here's the one that I recommend SiteGround they have their own one-click WordPress installer so that makes it a lot easier and I can then modify WordPress from there and WordPress comes with many free themes uh, and then there's themes that I, you can purchase. I actually have a, uh, a a premium theme that I purchased, which I find to be very powerful. Okay, so hopefully this has been uh, helpful. And if you guys can leave some comments below, 
If you need further clarification or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to do in the comments below. All right. Thanks so much.